Welcome back everyone. We're jumping right into our satellite and radar because well, we have two big things kind of going on. I talked about that low pressure system that is the tropical low pressure system that is coming into southern Texas. Well, it's basically fallen apart at this point. It's not going to bring us any significant rain like we kind of hoped, but there's a caveat. There's a second low pressure system. I'm talking all the way out toward Midland, Texas on the far western side. This is what's going to bring us a lot more precipitable rain over the next couple of days. Granted, you're not going to get a whole lot throughout the day tomorrow. We're going to start off with lots of cloud cover, basically, which is what we're seeing right now. This cloud cover is going to be associated with a frontal system. And yes, we're talking a cold front in the summer, but it's not going to really cool us off that much. Although you might be surprised the rain will be be the one that cools us off a whole lot more. Let's check out that hour by hour radar going into the overnight hours. Well, lots of increasing cloud cover throughout the entire region. Not too surprised there. Couple little showers kind of moving through Franklin Centerville Fair field far eastern side of the region during the afternoon hours late evening. That's when we start to see this next big line of showers. We're talking around Comanche, Brownwood and San Saba kind of pushing its way into the central part of the region right around the overnight hours going in from Sunday into Monday, leaving us with lots of clouds and a lot more rain. Then boom, starting off your day. We're looking at a big line of these scattered showers, thunderstorms, heavy rain, of course, right around Waco, Temple, Marlin, going all the way up to Fairfield, Mejia, and also into Centerville. This is going to be hanging around, even covering the southern part of the state, southern part of the viewing area, that is, going all the way into the afternoon. We're talking widespread showers and thunderstorms, which is certainly good given our drought situation, but it's not always that good because with how much rainfall we we're expecting, I'm talking over an inch in some places and even more in others. I'm talking some models going as far as five inches. Granted, that's still pretty much a lot. No matter what, given drought situations, I can see some localized flooding because of this. We'll keep you updated but by tomorrow to let you know if the models have changed. Overnight tonight, mostly cloudy, a little bit of a breeze as the front moves through, but staying on the warm side. And well, tomorrow, yeah, we're still going to stay on the warm side. I'm talking 96 as we go into Sunday. Then we start to see much cooler temperatures. I'm talking upper 80s by Monday and then lower 90s for the rest of the week. Stay tuned. Sports is next.